Hello and greetings from Iceland. Is the eruption coming to an end? Is still the biggest question here in my country. Although it didn't look like so last night, it looked like this around midnight. Obviously plenty of lava coming up, but then this morning nothing going on. Just a hole in the ground with some smoke, as dull as it gets, again. So today I'm going to go over some recent data and talk about what scientists are saying or not. And I'm going to take a look at the bigger picture as well, or what can we expect to happen here in Iceland overall, not just on the peninsula. And that is because seismometers are showing constant unrest all around the country, and I somehow have a feeling that there will be some more big news from here, sooner rather than later. But let's start with the Geltingadalir volcano, or Fagradals Hraun as it is officially called now. And I just heard it in the news that the minister has agreed upon to make that the formal name of this lava field. So we have known it for a while now, but it is official now. Like the official mug of my channel that you can see here. But enough about that. The eruption hasn't stopped, but it is clearly showing such signs, as I've mentioned before. So it's time to take a look at uh, some of the data, or how the eruption has evolved from the beginning. But we are looking at uh, four periods. The first period lasted for about two weeks, and it was characterized by fairly steady lava flow, averaging about uh, six cubic meters per second of lava. The second period lasted also for two weeks, and it was characterized by uh, opening of uh, new craters. But the lava flow was quite variable, in the range of 5 to 8 cubic meters per second. And after that period, the activity has all been in this one crater. And the third season lasted two and a half months and ended at the end of June. And the lava flow was for the most part fairly stable, or around 12 cubic meters per second. And then we have the fourth season that began at the end of June. It was characterized by what we see today, or as uh, Forrest Gump would have described it. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. And when the eruption is at its peak these days, it is similar as we saw in the third period. But in between, we have those days with little or even no lava flow. So the latest measurements show that the average flow is now clearly declining. It measures 7.5 cubic meters per second for the last month, and therefore only 60-65% of what came up there in May and June. But still, scientists won't say that this is about to end, nor will they predict when it will end. But it is good news that the lava flow is currently not going down to North High Valley, where it has accumulated behind the barrier for the last week. So the South Coast Road is still safe, and the old farmhouse and the land around it. But then, this volcano has been a major headache for our experts. It's behaving like nothing else that we have seen. And that's because its origin is not a magma chamber, but a metal. So we are a bit stuck here, and we can only guess, and that is not easy. So even if I don't have any scientific background and can therefore allow myself to make some predictions without any serious consequences, it's still a hard guess. I do have a feeling though that this eruption is coming to an end at least as we know it today. But I also have a feeling that this might just be the first chapter of a longer story on the peninsula and maybe for Iceland or other fracture zones. And it's quite enough to take a look at the earthquakes on the peninsula for the last month to see unusual activity still. And as before, I'm leaving links to the seismometers and other parts of the peninsula seem to be getting ready for something. And overall, it is my feeling that something more is about to happen. Maybe not this month or the next month, but something is going on. 
And uh, here we have a photo of the accumulated earthquakes on the peninsula for the last uh, two months. So I'm going to work from this photo from west to east. First we have the usual uh, tremors along the North Atlantic grids, just south of the peninsula. That is nothing new. And uh, then we get closer to the shoreline. But uh, Iceland is just the part of the grids that uh, happens to be above sea level. And it is on the westernmost part of the peninsula where I suspect that uh, we might have some action. And uh, one of the options that hasn't been mentioned that much is an eruption under sea level. That is something that we know very well here in Iceland. And uh, new islands have been coming and going there, just south of the Reykjanes Peninsula, southwest of it. And that is a remarkable part of our geological history. And I like to mention that it has generally been said that the Reykjanes Peninsula has been dormant since the 13th century. And the eruption in Keltingar Valley marked the end of that era. But uh, subsea eruptions have not been defined as a part of the volcanic systems of the Reykjanes Peninsula. And the last eruption of that kind was in the year 1926. And that is a part of the history of the peninsula that hasn't been mentioned uh, all that much so far. So when I was uh, digging into that, I found the material for a whole uh, new separate video that I will make soon. But before that, I need to drive to Reykjavik south, pick up a drone that I'm buying and uh, get myself some fresh footage. But uh, let's move on with the peninsula. There are still earthquakes near Grindavík. And uh, in my uh, video, in three parts about Grindavík, you can find that whole story. So I'm not going to repeat it here, but leaving a link. I have not heard anything about uh, Landaræs under Mount Thorbjörn, next to town. So my guess is that uh, the area is uh, fairly stable. And the fourth suspicious place is of course the Krisuvík volcano system that is showing uh, constant unrest. And uh, judging from seismic unrest there for the last uh, decade or so, I'm sure that uh, betting agencies would go for the Krisuvík system as the source of next eruption. But as for me, the unrest on the westernmost uh, part of the peninsula is simply way more than we have got uh, used to. Krisuvík has been the uh, local troublemaker for a long time and uh, keeping our experts on their toes for as uh, long as I can remember. And as for the broader picture, this unusual earthquake activity stretches uh, even further east, like I've mentioned in videos covering uh, the volcanoes close to Reykjavík. And I'm leaving a link for you there as well. So what can we expect? I somehow have a feeling that this pipeline under this volcano and the ongoing eruption is just a small sample of the forces that have been shaking the Reykjanes Peninsula for almost two years now. And despite of the ongoing eruption, it's still plenty of energy moving around the peninsula. So again, I am focusing uh, more on the earthquake map and I will build some of my next videos on that map because I am just sure that uh, there is something more in the making and uh, not just on the Reykjanes Peninsula. And uh, those of you who are very interested in this, I would advise you to take a look at uh, Katla. We are seeing more earthquake activity there than uh, for some time now. That is, however, not unusual as she uh, gets rid of the snow during summers. Vatnajökull is also up to something. Not just uh, Bárðarbunga, the hotspot, also the next door uh, system, Grímsvatn. So there are plenty of uh, subjects for me and uh, I really look forward to add uh, a drone to my other uh, toys and I'm already checking the wind forecast for the next days, something that I usually never do, hoping for a good flight weather. But I am not going to do my first flights above the crater. It's a bad idea. And the next toy I need would be something of this kind, so I will be able to do some editing on the road while waiting for the perfect uh, light and such, and uh, perhaps to do some uh, live broadcasts from the Icelandic wilderness. Or as I have always said, I'm just starting, and with that I'm sending you best regards from the volcano island Iceland.